Just as we're amazed at how much life can be found in a bowl of ocean water, you'd be surprised at how much you can find in a scoop of mud. It's down in the mud that we're going in our last investigation of life at the bottom of the food chain. For it's the mud that is the key to the health, and perhaps even the survival, of the lagoon and all the amazing creatures that dwell in it. This team of Smithsonian scientists is on a mud-gathering expedition. Their leader is Bjorn Tunberg, an expert of sorts in all things muddy. Every three months, his group visits the same 29 locations up and down the lagoon and collects samples of the lagoon floor, along with all the plants and tiny animals that live in it. What they're really doing is giving the lagoon a medical checkup. It's the mud-dwelling creatures that provide the clearest diagnosis of the impact of human pollution, because they can't easily escape it by simply swimming away. We can see which animals have disappeared and which animals are still there. And so if we find lots of pollution tolerance species, we know that this area has, has been exposed to, to a certain type of pollution. The samples are preserved in formalin, combined with a chemical that turns animal tissue pink. As they sort through everything they've collected under microscopes, they can spot and pick out the pink tiny creatures. There's a whole different world of creatures in these bottom-dwelling communities. They've found as many as a thousand individual animals from 60 different species in a single scoop of mud. We're talking about 600 species here. You can find anything from crabs, fish, worms, most of uh, the animals that we find are, are pretty small. It's hard to get people excited about the lagoon bottom, but the health of the tiny creatures who live there is linked to the health of the entire lagoon and everything else living in it. Many bottom foraging fish, for example, they're totally dependent on this fauna. It's their main food source. If the food source disappears, the fish disappears. It's very important for the food chain. The food chain starts in the mud. It leads all the way up, species by species, to the fish we eat at the dinner table. Just as the loss of big fish causes a domino effect down through the food chain, the absence of the mud dwellers has the same effect upwards. 